What is your relationship with time? Is time on your side? Or do you fight the clock, constantly wishing you could speed it up or slow it down? For many of us, it seems as though we can never find enough time. We rush from one task to the next, but somehow our to-do list keeps getting longer. With all the demands on our schedule, it can become easy for the time constraints that we feel to translate into stress and burnout that takes a toll on our physical and mental health. A recent Gallup poll studied the correlation between time and stress. The results were broken down into different age demographics. And this graph shows us the percentage of respondents that indicated they don't have enough time, and the percentage that indicated they frequently experience stress. This certainly helps us see how feeling stressed and our perceived lack of time go hand in hand. In total, eight out of 10 people in the survey said that they were dealing with stress, and the results indicate that the time constraints that we feel are contributing to these daily levels of anxiety. We need a new game plan, a way to think differently about time. Consider the hourglass. It is a visual representation of the time that has passed and the time we have left. What if each of us was given our very own hourglass, where the sand inside represented all of our time here on Earth? Today, I'm going to share with you how you can add sand to your hourglass. By a show of hands, who here has ever found yourself saying, if only I had more hours in the day? (laughs) I've said that too. But then I made a unique discovery that changed the way I view time. It was exactly four years ago this weekend, on Saturday night, when we were to turn our clocks back by one hour. After having a very busy week, I went to bed that night looking forward to getting an extra hour of rest. I thought to myself, it'll be so nice to sleep in. But when morning came, naturally, my body woke up at the same time I was used to waking up. Only now, the actual time was an hour earlier. (laughs) Lying there in bed, My first thought was about my basset hound, Dusty. I knew if he heard me move, I would not get to sleep in. He'd wake up and want his breakfast. I closed my eyes and thought, maybe I can go back to sleep. But then I heard Dusty start to get up. And I told myself, don't move a muscle but I could feel I was being watched. (laughs) I opened my eyes, and there was Dusty. (laughs) We were nose to nose, as if he was saying, good morning, mama, time to get up. (laughs) Now, those of you with pets or kids, you know I was never going to get that extra hour of sleep. So I jumped out of bed and decided to use my extra hour on a special project that I'd been working on. Soon, I completed it, and I looked down at my watch, and I thought, wow, it feels later than that. I think I'll go out and run some errands. 
So I hopped in my car and headed to the department store. Only they weren't open yet. But I knew I could circle back. And I began checking things off my list. I found what I needed each place that I went, and I even picked up all of my groceries for the week. As I was driving home, I looked down at the clock in my car and I was thinking, this is great, I am getting so much accomplished. And then I realized I never changed the clock in my car. It was actually an hour earlier. Excited about my extra hour, I got home, put my groceries away, and tackled some cleaning projects around the house. Scrubbing the bathrooms, deep cleaning the kitchen, it felt amazing to get all of this done. As I sat down at the dinner table that evening, I kept thinking, how great would it be if we could get an extra hour in every day? I looked up at the clock on my kitchen wall with complete satisfaction for the incredible day and all that had happened by only 7 p.m. And then I remembered, I never changed the clock on the kitchen wall. It was still only 6 p.m. It was in that very moment that I came to realize I had an amazing day not because of an extra hour. I had an amazing day because of how I chose to approach the gift of an extra hour of time. And that's when I began to wonder, what if I approached every day like I've been given an extra hour? How much more effective could I be? How much more fulfilled could I feel? And what more could I do to make a difference with the time that I have? This idea was very intriguing to me. So I began to study my relationship with time. And I became more mindful of the energy that I create for myself. This led me to discover how I can add sand to my hourglass. Because while I can't actually control time, I can control my thinking. And with the right mental approach, I can recreate that same effect over and over. I learned to view time as an emotion that could no longer get the best of me. And I put together this formula to use. My mindset creates my energy, which dictates my outcome. Now, let's talk about a couple of the steps that we can take to set ourselves up for a good day. Number one, get a dog. <laughs> Not a bad tip. Dusty did help me get going in the morning. But what I actually found is that it comes down to two important action words to get in that right mindset. Design and decide. First, design. Design your day, your week, your year. This is about living with intention and purpose. Ask yourself, what is one thing I can do today that will move me closer to where I want to be? Then do it. Focus on your plan for the day and imagine the feeling you will have when you go to bed at night happy with the great day that you designed. Now, we know that things do not always go as we plan them. And that is where our second action word becomes very important. Decide. This is the second part of getting in the right mindset. Decide how to feel. Recognize that you choose your emotions that will set the tone for your entire day. In the story of my day, 
It was the attitude I had and that emotion of feeling grateful that propelled me from one positive experience to the next. So each day, focus on the positives and the things that you have to be grateful for. Then channel these positive thoughts into energy that drives you to take the next step. Remember our formula. Our mindset creates our energy, which dictates our outcome. Just as you would train your body to be ready to run a race, you must also train your mind to be ready to run your day. What matters most is not the actual amount of time that we have. What matters most is the frame of mind with which we go about our day. I shared with you earlier about my basset hound, Dusty. <laughs> this is one of my favorite pictures of him bounding happily across the backyard. <laughs> he epitomized that phrase, live like someone left the gate open. We talked earlier about envisioning your goal and where you want to be. Now it is time to run towards it with excitement. This is the mentality that will shape what you do every day and what you achieve by it. For many of us, in our hourglass of life, more than half of our sand has already passed through to the bottom. Each moment is like a grain of sand, so choose wisely how to spend it. All too easily, we can find ourselves going through the motions, getting stuck in a cycle where day after day just passes by. In a recent study by the company OnePoll, they found that more than two-thirds of Americans say they feel trapped in the same daily routine. This gives us a lack of purpose and meaning in our lives, and time then becomes easily wasted. This also has a profound impact on productivity in the workplace. According to Harvard researchers, idle time costs employers in the U.S. an estimated $100 billion a year in lost wages. Imagine how different our world could be if we all felt good about the work we were doing and embraced the opportunity of time. When you open your eyes tomorrow morning, how will you start your day? If you can make a conscious decision to invest your time into the very purpose for which you were created, your life will become richer and fuller, and it will quite literally be like the sand in the top of your hourglass multiplying. Let's set the tone for our day by choosing to approach it with full appreciation for the time we are given. Imagine the excitement we will all have when February 29th leap year rolls around. <laughs> A bonus of an entire day. <laughs> Choosing to change the way we view time will be revolutionary for us. From my time change experience, I learned that time is a gift, and even when it's only one hour, you'll be amazed at what you can do with it. When we fully appreciate the time that we have left on this earth, that's when we can begin to make the most out of all the hours that we're given, adding sand to our hourglass of life. Thank you. Thank you.